Well, booktube, it's time to make another video. Yep, today is December the 14th. It's a Wednesday here in West Michigan. It is 8.27 at night. I'm sitting here in my, well, not my, I'm married, in our dining room. I have a tendency to always use I, and my wife gets kind of perturbed because, hey, we're married, and it's just not me. We're a couple. We are together, and uh, I'm not alone in this world. So, yeah, so I'm sitting in our dining room here in West Michigan, and I was reading, trying to finish tonight, Stone Arabia by Dana Spitola. Spitala? Uh, when I was at the library Saturday, no, Monday, I had to cover for somebody. Today is a Wednesday. So Monday I was there from 4 to, no, not 4, from 11 to 2. But before, I put re on reserve her newest novel, which just came out this year, 2016. I think this was came out in... This one came out, I think, let's see. This came out in 2011. Anyway, so, yeah, I was at the Hendrix Public Library, District Public Library used bookstore. I covered for somebody Monday and I brought home for my book for volunteering, uh, The Journey to Portugal, A Pursuit of Portugal's History and Culture by Jose Saramago. He's a Portuguese writer. This is translated out of Portuguese. It's like a, a travel memoir by him. Translated from the Portuguese with notes by Amanda Hopkinson and Nick Castor. I collect his writings, this Jose Sara Amengo. I have like four or five of his novels. He's won the winner of the Nobel Prize for Literature. So I got that. And I bought this book for $3, The Power Broker, Robert Moses in the Fall of New York by Robert E. Caro, Caro, Cargo, Car Caro. He's the one that's famous for his big uh, three-volume life on Lyndon B. Johnson. Uh, I read about Robert Moses in that history of Gumet Village. He was a developer and a, and a planner for New York City. I don't know. It looked really interesting. I collect books on New York City, and so I got this, and maybe someday I'll plow through it. So I got that, and talk about finishing. I did finish reading last night The Wanting Seed by Anthony Burgess. Uh, he's the one that wrote Clockwood Orange, uh, The Doctor is Sick, Honey for the Bears, The Long Day Wanes, Nothing Like the Sun. He wrote a, a, a book on James Joyce. But I finished this, I might give a review of this. I got in the mail yesterday this book, Steward a Life. This is like a, bio, a biography by Alexander Masters. It says here, this is the comic and shocking history of Stuart Shorter, an advocate thief, hopeless hostage taker, and charming, disturbing raconteur. Stuart, A Life Backwards, is not just a biography, but also the story of an extraordinary friendship between two very different men. One, a reclusive writer living in Cambridge, the other, a homeless beggar living on the streets outside his door. Told, told with humor, horror, and expira expiration, expiration, being ex I can't pronounce that word. It is a prize winning bestseller that is extraordinary and unexpected as a life it describes. I bought this 
online because he has a new one out and I wanted to read an older one and then I found out according to live journal not live journal but my library thing I already have a copy of it which I cannot find anyway so I have two copies I got it for three dollars and then I I bought new from Amazon I pre-ordered this a couple of months ago I heard about it on booktube this novel the history of wolves a novel by Emily Friend Freelude, Freelude. So I got that in the mail. I probably will read this after I finish reading Stone Arabia. I'll, I'll probably finish this tonight. So I'm on a roll, really. I, I mentioned in December I wanted to finish reading the Castaway Lounge by John Bollard. I wanted to finish reading Anthony Burgess. I finished that. And I wanted to finish reading Stone Arabia. So I'm really on a roll. I also been reading uh, these little short little, these like articles by Michael Deera. Uh, it's called Browsings, A Year of Reading, Collecting, and Living with Books. They're just little like, you know, little two-page little things. I read those in the afternoons when I'm sitting in the living room just sitting there. So, and uh, in the mornings I'm reading, uh, I've been reading the last two mornings, Gregory the Great, More Reflections of the Book of Job, Volume 3, which I got in the mail this week. So I've been reading that, translated by Brian Kearns. Uh, this was uh, Gregory the Great was a pope from 590 to 604, a time of great turmoil in Italy and the Western Roman Empire, generally because of the barbarian invasions. Gregory's experience as pope of the city of Rome, and uh, he was like secretary of Pope Pelagius, fitted him um, admirably for the new challenge of the papacy. The moral reflections in the Book of Job were first given to the monks who accompanied Gregory to the embassy in Constantinople. This third volume, containing books 11 through 16, provides a commentary on the 12 chapters of Job from 12 verse 6 to Job 24 verse 20. So I've been reading that in the mornings. It's good when you're reading this to read these two books. As I've shown these books in the past, I read these books throughout every year. They're like devotional books by my desk and my study. I read these. They're really excellent. This is Orthodox Psychotherapy, the Science of the Fathers by Metropolitan Nafpakasis Arthusius, translated by Esther Williams. This is a good thing to read in reading uh, monastic, Eastern monastic spirituality. Also, I recommend reading this, Orthodox Spirituality, A Practical Guide for the Faithful and Definitive Manual for the Scholar by Dimitrio Standoloff. Uh, I've been reading these books and off on for years. They're excellent for the spiritual life, especially understanding uh, Eastern Orthodox Spirituality, um, and, uh, Early Fathers, Monastic Spirituality. So yeah, so today uh, my wife and I were out doing errands and we stopped at thrift stores. I found these books, the, the White House transcripts, the full text of the submission of reported presidential conversations to the committee of the Judicial House of Representative President Nixon. This is during the, the Watergate scandal, uh, which you know I've been, I read it, uh, uh, the beginning of this year, I read a lot on the Watergate, and the Watergate is part of my own history as a young man. I found this uh, Travels with Charlie in Search of America. This is a Penguin Classic Deluxe Edition uh, by John Stanback. It has like a, a map of his travels and has a page of Char a picture of Charlie, the dog that traveled with him. There's Steinbeck. It's a 50th anniversary edition. Uh, I already have it, but I, I got it for like, you know, 50 cents. I picked up Ken Kesey, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I have this already, 
but my paperback edition has um, uh, uh, Jack Nicholas on it when he played in that movie. I like the cover. This is a Penguin book edition. It's, it has it's clean pages. It's not under it's only fifty cents. Was well, sixty cents this one? I like the cover. Uh, I bought this in hardback recently, but I, this is a paperback edition. Station Eleven, a novel by Emily St. John Mandel. And I found this novel, Love and War in California, by Oakley Hall. And I found this novel by William Kennedy. He's famous for his uh, novel, Ironweed. And uh, he won a Pulitzer Prize for that novel. And this is his novel, Very Old Bones. I collect William Kennedy's writings. I read him years ago, but I, if I see him, I still buy him. Uh, I have this already, but I was only, you know, 50 cents. And this is The uh, Empire of the Sun, a novel by J.G. Bollard, Bollard. This is a, uh, a novel by him, and I found this biography by Linda, Lindell Gordon. Uh, she, she's a very famous biographer. She wrote a thing on Emily Dickinson, T.S. Eliot, uh, Henry James, and Charlotte bon, Bonet, Bonte. And so I collect her biographies. This is The Vindication, The Life of Mary Wollstonecraft, who was an early uh, founder of women's uh, feminism. Yeah. I, I like, uh, says here, Mary Wollst Wollstonecraft, seven, she li was born in 1759, died in 1797. She didn't really live that long, did she? Was the founder of the modern feminism in her time, the most f famous woman in Europe, in America. In this exciting new biography, Lindell, Gordon proposes that at each stage of, of a passionate and courageous life, a teacher, writer, lover, and traveler, Mary Wollstonecraft was an original. She had advanced ideas on education, her views on single motherhood, family responsibilities, working life, domestic affections, friendships, and sexual relationships now look astonishingly modern. She tested new ways a man and woman might come to know each other and live together. Imagination must lead the senses, not the senses, the imagination. She told her American lover, Gerbit, Gerbit Umle, and repeated it to her husband, William Godwin. Vindication is the first biography to show this remarkable woman at full strength and bring out the range as well as the reverberations of her genius in the following su subsequent generations. And then it goes down here, though she died young, her spirit and unconventional ideas lived on in the lives of her daughter, Mary Shelley, and three other heirs who had to contend with her counter-revolutionary age. Vindication offers new evidence for the influence of early American political thought in England and demonstrates the first time the profound effect of Mary Stonecraft's own writing especially her vindication of the rights of women on American figures of the day, among them John and Abigail Adams. So I got that today. And I found this novel by Cyril Husevelt, who I, who I read this year, a novel by her, and I was really, I really enjoyed it. This is a, a novel of hers, What I Loved. And then I found this crime. I collect this Andrew Vickis. False Accusations, a Burke novel. I already have this, but every time I see him, this is almost like a perfect, con it's a signed edition, that's why I wanted it. It's a signed, and uh, it looks brand new. And so I have a huge stack of his, but this one was brand new and it was signed. So I couldn't resist. So those are the books I got today when my wife and I are out wandering the wasteland, uh, going to thrift stores, looking around. So that's what I got. And tonight I'll finish Stone Arabia by that. And 
I don't know. I might do a review. I'm not really good at reviews uh, when it comes to reviewing books. But uh, I don't know. I finished The Wanting Seed last night by Anthony Burgess. It wasn't bad. But to me, I, I have a hard time buying any book new. When I say, I recommend see this used, buy it. It was interesting. So that's what's going on in my book world. Today is a Wednesday. I don't think I have anything coming in the mail. I have CDs coming in the mail. Oh, I do have some novels. I have a novel coming in the mail that I bought used. But I think that's about it. I can't remember anything else. So I'm hoping you're having a good week. Thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope that all is well. Stay warm. Till next time, bye.